My name is Damon Paget, PDGA number 127836. I discovered this golf pro about 10 years ago with, uh, with a group of friends um, looking for a new hobby and this is what these guys were doing. So, you know, I kind of I went out and, and threw a disc for the first time and it was horrible. It didn't go that far and it, it you, know, you know, I was a little embarrassed, but, you know, watching my, my buddies throw a disc and how they, they, they flew, I, I fell in love with it and continued trying until, you know, I got better. It was the flight of the disc. Um, I fell in love with the, with the sport because of watching the flight of a disc. How it turned over and kept moving forward and, and, and came back, made this kind of S shape. And it was really neat, you know, watching it fly like that. It was unlike a, a basketball or a baseball or anything else you threw. So that was my um, first thing that, uh, that attracted me to it. Um, also the, the fact that it was outside, I've never really been an indoor kind of person and being out at parks and, and in the woods and hanging out with friends was uh, very appealing also. What kept me coming back to playing disc golf, uh, of course was mainly hanging out with my friends, the camaraderie, the, 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 the crap talking back and forth that we do and the the competition even though i was uh no good for a long time it was uh still fun trying to compete my accomplishments in disc golf uh i have i have quite a few um i started playing tournaments and i've played well played well over 50 tournaments now and i see the you know just this sheer number of tournaments you know as an accomplishment um i finally have received two two first place wins within two or three weeks of each other, which you know was an accomplishment. I received two of my first aces on the same tournaments. I got those, uh, no, it wasn't the same tournaments. I got two aces, one of them on one of the tournament wins and another one, you know, at another tournament, which I got paid for. And it took me, you know, over, over eight, nine years to, to get that. And also, I have acquired enough points for the third year in a row to qualify for, for Master Worlds. Dealing with setbacks in my mental game is a work in progress. Um, for the most part, it is coming to a level of acceptance that the, the past is past. I'll have some really great rounds and I'll have some really bad rounds. And as soon as I throw a bad shot, you know, like everyone else, I want to beat myself up. But I have to, well, I, I, I do beat myself up. Let's not lie about it. But then I come back and I tell myself, eh, it's, it's one throw. You know, I'll see if I can improve on the next one. And sometimes my next throw, I won't improve. And it'll just spiral downhill from there. But... And doing all that, I kind of just give up on the competition aspect of it. And now I'm only playing for fun, so it takes a lot of pressure off me. And after that, I play pretty well. The amount of practice I do outside of a course depends on the time of year. Um, I can tell you right now, in the summertime in Florida, it is too hot to always want to go out to the, the field and throw disc if I'm not playing around. In the winter time, I'll spend more time, you know, going out because it's, to me, it's nicer out. It warms me up. It's, it's kind of nice. Other than that, um, with my new puppy, I do throw a lot more putts than I used to throw. Like, I don't go and practice like the pros tell me to practice, like throw 100 putts a day. But every time I go outside, I'm throwing, you know, three to three to five putts. And I think just the daily repetition is has uh, greatly improved my game. My future goals for disc golf is uh, pretty simple. Wreck for life. <laughs> no, my, um, 
my future goals for disc golf. Um, I'm looking at longevity. My goal is just continue playing into my retirement years. Um, it is um, an athletic sport which I believe can you know keep my body healthy enough to you know maybe prolong my life, and I'm going to you know go with that since I really don't do much else. I don't run as much as I used to. Um, in saying that, that means that I am not trying to to become professional. I'm not trying to become an advanced player. You know, I, I am starting to dabble into a higher division than what my rating for the PDGA says it should. But I think overall, my main goal is just to play for a long time. I'm a fan of professional disc golf up to a point. Um, there's certain players that I, I, I like a lot. I, I would love to aspire to be them, but I am not that athletic, so there's some realization right there. But I do root for these guys, but not to the point where I, I go to every tournament to watch them play or I, I pay for a, a pay-per-view to you know, watch the entire tournament. You know, sometimes when the free stuff's going on, I'll, I'll watch some you know, free video of it. Um, I will uh, follow on online just to see what the score is, just to see how they're doing. If they're close, I'll watch. If they ain't close, I'm done. I collect disc, apparently by the thousand. I am obsessed with disc golf. And by saying that, there was a time, which I'm doing better now, it's like I've been holding myself back, but there was a time that anything brand new that came out from Discraft or came out from Paul Macbeth or Paige Pierce, I would buy it up as quick as possible and try to get the best looking one. And then when I buy the disc, I buy multiple ones so I could throw one and save the other ones in case I lose it. And then I lose it instead of using the one I bought for it, I'll just buy two more to replace the one I lost. And it's, it's becoming a wall of disc right now. And at the end of the day, I think there's some value in this, and I'm hoping the future that stays the same because this may be my retirement mm. <laughs> if I keep it up. Um, so I got into stencil dyeing, um, where I take uh, where I take ink and and I take stencils I have created from a computer. So I'm taking like digital arts and I'm manipulating it and I'm putting it on a disc, and I'm, I'm doing that. So of course I do have a a couple here which are dyed. I think I got two that are that are uh, close up here. I, I thought both of them were standing up. There's only one standing up right now. Times is one of the courses here we call Springfield, and it has a creek running through it that has uh, warning labels from the city saying "Do not eat the fish." So of course I thought the Simpson Three Eye Fish would be, you know, perfect for it. So I put it on a disc and did this little job. It came out looking looking very well. Now, I don't sell these. I keep these for myself. And then, you know, playing disc golf, sometimes you think that you're having a really bad round and you suck. And, you know, you got to remember that, you know, you're the reason that you suck. So, you know, you got to remind yourself sometimes it's not going to suck itself. And, and, you know, being in Florida, this we got courses and mosquitoes everywhere. And I just thought that'd be a good mascot for this disc. So... Here we are with the best part about this disc. It's also my first ace disc. I got paid like 700 bucks in a tournament for, for throwing this in one throw into the chains. I throw a lot of discs from a company called Discraft. Um, <laughs> my favorite style of disc to throw currently is this one right here. Now this is not the original stamp on it. It's called a Passion. Ah. funny how I don't have to reach that far to find another passion. Um, this disc is just like a mid-range, which is easier for a newer for a newer player to throw, but it's a longer range mid-range. It's a it's a fairway driver. And I am able to control where that disc go and I, I, I love it a lot because of that. So I do see disc golf continuing to grow. Um, how big, I'm not sure. There's 
from what I see, there is still, of course, with people I work with and some places I go, there is a lack of understanding what disc golf is. And they see it as a novelty compared to um, golf or what we like to refer to as ball golf. I think we have a, we have a, a unique ability to have a course in the woods instead of having to have all this open land. And it gives us opportunity to have more courses and more locations. We just, there needs to be a, a, a more popularity or more understanding with the public so some of these courses can be created in, in more areas. Um, there's a lot of money in disc golf right now when it comes to the professional side. And as long as they keep paying players and we keep buying disc and going to these tournaments and everyone keeps making money, it's going to continue to grow. I don't think it will ever be as big as professional golf, but I don't think it has to be. Hi, my name is Damon Paget, and I am addicted to disc golf. I love disc golf. Tim is awesome. Give him an A. Tim gets an A. All right, hold on one more thing before you cut off this camera. I need everyone in, in internet land or wherever this is going to know that Tim got his first ace in a few years or many years in front of people this time. There was witnesses. That's true. And that's a big thing because no one ever believed him because he always threw it on his, on his own. Yeah, and even the ones that my kids made fun of me. It's before. like he always caught the biggest fish or threw in this ace and no one saw it. So did it really happen? Probably not. Because yeah. that's what I do, I lie about this stuff. <laughs>